Yo guys, what is going on? Happy freaking New Year's 2019 is gonna be absolutely amazing. I hope everyone's 2018 was absolutely amazing as well. And I hope all you guys stayed safe on New Year's Eve. Welcome back to the channel, boys. What we are gonna be working on today is the headlights for my Evo 8. A few days ago, it's probably about a week ago actually, we installed the new LED taillights, which are pretty much all blacked out. Well, they're not all blacked out. There's some red, there's some amber in there. And these headlights on the car are completely chrome. They're not good looking in my opinion whatsoever. I know a lot of people run the Evo 9 JDM headlights, which are all black. And then this part down here is amber, but I don't feel like spending $1,200, $1,300 on a pair of headlights. The first thing we're gonna be doing on this channel together is cleaning up the headlight lens. So I use the 3M headlight buff kit and I've always had really good success with that kit. I'll have a link down below. After we get these headlight lenses all cleaned up, we're gonna pull the headlights off the car, throw them in the oven, bake them, pull the lens off the housing itself, pull the chrome section out. We're gonna be blacking all that out. There's a few other little things I wanna do in the headlights as well to kind of make them stand out, you know, match my style and the style I'm going for on this car. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that as well. We picked up a set of demon eyes from litlights.com. So if you guys need anything lighting related, go hit up lit lights. Let's get these headlight lenses cleaned up. Let me show you what I do. So the only two things you're gonna need to clean a set of headlight lenses are these two things right here. We got the 3M headlight restoration kit and you're gonna need a drill as well because this right here is gonna to attach to the drill. And that, that's how you go about buffing headlights. I'll try to run through this quick. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen my headlight buffing videos before. So basically what we're gonna to wanna to do is mask off the paint around the headlight. I have the hood open. So I don't need to worry about that. I have the bumper off. I don't need to worry about that either. All we need to do is mask off this fender right here. We're just doing this so we don't accidentally hit the paint on the car and scuff it up with that sandpaper. There we go. That's all good to go there. I guess one other thing you will need is a squirt bottle and I throw a bunch of water in here with just a tiny bit of Dawn dish soap. Go ahead, spray the headlight down. This is kind of a messy process, guys. So if you have the ability, take the car outside. And what you're supposed to do, guys, if your headlights are pretty nasty, start with the 500 grit, go to the 800, and then hit this 3000 grit on it. These headlights really aren't bad at all. So I'm just gonna start with a 3000 grit and see if that gets most of the oxidation off there. If it doesn't, I'll jump down to like the 800 or 500 grit. So as you guys can see, right off the bat, with that 3000 grit not even polished out, it looks a million times better. That completely took off all the oxidation and the yellowing from the headlights. So there is no need to do the 800 or 500 grit. Like I said earlier, if your headlights are pretty bad, you would start at the 500, hit the 800, and then the 3000, and then buff it out. Now it is time to move on to the buffing part. I'm just gonna take this 3000 grit piece off there and throw on this buffing wheel. I'm gonna try to kind of clean it out a little bit. All right, that's a little better. All right, guys, let's go ahead and polish up this headlight and I'll show you how amazing it looks compared to the one we have not polished yet. So here is the old headlight that we have not touched yet whatsoever. As you can see, there's a decent amount of oxidation on it and yellowing, not the cleanest looking headlight in the world. Here is the freshly polished headlight. Came out about a 9.9 out of 10. This car is a 2003, so there is a bit of pitting on the lens, but I am not too worried about it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So now that we got the headlight cleaned, it is time to remove it and do the actual fun part, the modifications. Guess we could pull this tape off real quick. So we have a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt up front, and a bolt down here on the side as well. Pull those four bolts out and the headlight will come out of the car. You will have a wiring connector on the back side as well, so make sure you disconnect that. All four of these bolts are 10 millimeter. We got the headlight off the car. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring it over to a sink over there or just grab a hose, whatever, some Dawn dish soap and a brush and clean up all the grease and dirt and grime on the back side of this headlight. I don't really feel like working on it when it's all dirty, so let's go get it cleaned up real quick.
Now the next step is going to be to remove all of the wiring, everything on the back side of the headlight that we do not want to get burned or harmed in the oven. So we're gonna pull this bulb out here, pull this one here, take all of this wiring off, the ballast, the igniter cord, the harness, all that good stuff. Everything on the back side of the headlight removed. So the headlight should look like that when you get everything off. We got all the bulbs out, the wiring. The only thing I didn't take off is this level or the headlight adjuster motor because it clips out like that, but then to get actually get it all the way off, I think you'd have to mess with the actual beam alignment. So I'm gonna just leave that in there. We're only putting a headlight in the oven at 200 degrees, so that should be completely fine. And that moves us to the next step actually, is to get the oven preheated to 200 degrees. As soon as this oven is preheated at 200 degrees, we can grab a rack and throw the headlight in the oven. So I'm gonna set it in there, make sure it's not touching any of the sides of the oven because we don't want the sides of it to get uh, melted whatsoever. If you have any wires on it left whatsoever, make sure they're not drooping down. I've actually lit a headlight on fire before because of that, it completely destroyed the headlight. We're gonna leave it in the oven for about 10 minutes and pull it out. If the headlight glue still isn't warm enough at 10 minutes, we can throw it back in there for a bit longer. But 10 minutes should be plenty, guys. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's pull the headlight out and see if it's warm enough to separate the lens from the housing itself. So as you guys just saw, it came apart very, very smooth. I'm gonna set the headlight housing off to the side, grab our headlight lens right here. We're gonna take this chrome piece off, this little trim piece. We're gonna pull that thing off and completely spray that black. So this here is the piece we are gonna be painting black. I'm gonna probably do like a semi-gloss black. I don't have any paint here. So let's go jump in the Evo 10, head to town, grab some paint. got the paint, I had to go to two different stores. So I've done quite a quite a few heavy blackouts in my life and I've always had really good luck with this Rust-Oleum. It's like a paint and primer in two in one. Um, it's always worked really, really good. So I don't have to primer the chrome at all. I just spray this right on and it always has worked really nice. And then, so I got that from Ace Hardware and then for this Duplicolor Metal Cast Blue, it's kind of like an, it's supposed to be an anodized look. It looks pretty damn good, honestly. I had to go to AutoZone for this right here. And this is kind of expensive, it's like 12 bucks. I'll have both of these linked down in the description box below. If you guys end up wanting to do this on your own car and want to use the same exact paint I'm using so you know it works good. First thing I'm gonna do is spray this guy right here. I'm just gonna wipe it down with some acetone and then I'll spray this black paint right on there. On this piece right here, I'll probably end up doing like four lighter coats. It's pretty dang cold outside right now, so I don't want to do any heavy coats and risk getting any runs or drools in it. Now this bowl right here, we can actually just take the bowl off of the headlight. We will have to re-aim it when we're all said and done, but I think it's easier to do that than it is to mask everything else off. So it looks like there is two adjuster screws on the back side, like I said. All right, we got this headlight bowl off. I'm gonna go wipe it down real quick with 
some acetone, just like we did on the other part, and we can spray this bowl with this anodized blue uh, duplicolor paint. The reason why I'm using this instead of regular paint, number one, it looks better, and number two, it's so reflective, so I'll still have use of my high beam. So let's get this guy sprayed out as well. One more thing I have been considering doing, and I think I am going to do, is painting the cutoff shield or cutoff plate inside this projector. So I'm gonna pull these two screws off on the front, and it's gonna kind of act as a demon eye as well. So when light hits it, like say if say someone else's headlights or the sun, um, you get some sunlight on it, you'll see the blue shining through on that as well. So it should look pretty damn sick. Even when my actual my actual actual demon eyes are off, you should still be able to see it. I've never done this before. I've seen people online do it. So I've always wanted to give it a shot. It looks like I have to pull all six of these screws out, honestly, guys. So this might take a second, but it'll be well worth it. So all we need from this is this cutoff shield right here. We're gonna paint this that same blue color. All right, dudes, I'll update you here in a second when everything is painted, dried, and ready to be reassembled. I have not gotten my demon eye, my actual LED demon eyes in the mail yet. They come tomorrow. That's why I started this project today because I knew it was gonna be a very long project. So I can't fully assemble this headlight yet, but we can kind of throw it together and see how it's gonna look. Next thing I'm going to install is this high beam bowl. Let's throw it in and get it tightened up a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is put this back into the headlight lens. Just clips right in. And then this whole assembly is gonna sit onto the headlight housing. Well guys, here is what the finished product will somewhat look like. Don't mind the dirty lens, it's a little bit greasy right now from my fingers, but I think it, I think it's turned out pretty good. I know my car is absolutely disgusting, but here is a headlight before, before we touched anything we haven't bucked it yet. There she is after. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know. I think it looks so damn good. Here's a little up close, here's a before. Super chrome, doesn't really match anything I'm going for in the car. There's an after. I really wish I had the JDM9 headlights, honestly, with that little amber piece right there. That'd be nice. And it's kind of weird when I took these headlights apart, that side, the factory amber piece that goes up in there, it was already gone. So I'm assuming someone already had these headlights apart and only pulled out that amber piece. But overall, I would rate them, I don't know, 9.8 out of 10. A few little things could be different. Like I wish there was that amber piece, like I said earlier. Other than that, I think it turned out sick. I really, really like that blue thing in the center. Kind of come up here, you got all the blue in the engine bay. We got the blue on the calipers. Eventually I'll have my work XC9s on there, probably with blue lug nuts as well. So that'll look really, really nice. All right guys, the only thing left to do is the exact same thing on this headlight here. Everything is all painted up looking absolutely amazing. It is time to throw this headlight together. The shipment from Lit Lights did come in and not only did they mail me over the Demon Eye set for this car, they also mailed me over a set of LED high beam bulbs. So that is gonna be super nice actually because inside of that blue bowl that we painted, it may be a little bit darker with the OEM bulbs but now with these Lit Light LEDs, it's gonna be much brighter. So I'm super pumped on these. Let's go make sure they are going to fit inside this high beam bowl. So as you guys can see, this outer diameter right here is just a bit too big. So I'm gonna grab a Dremel and Dremel that out just a tiny bit. Actually, there's just a little ledge in there that probably needs to come off. So I'm gonna pull that off real quick with a Dremel and then this high beam LED bulb should fit in there just fine. All right guys, we got this all jumbled out for that LED high beam bulb. Next thing I'm gonna do is throw this high beam bulb back in the headlight housing. All right guys, that is all taken care of. We got the high beam bulb back in the headlight. I think the next thing I wanna move on to is getting the demon eyes installed into the headlights. So I'm gonna move on to that right now. I'm gonna mess around with it for a bit, try to figure out exactly how we're gonna mount this demon eye 
LED itself into the projector because it's going to the low beam projector. All right, so I got it all figured out. What we're gonna be needing to do is actually pull this LED off of the bracket that is included. And let me show you why. So we're gonna be mounting the LED right about here, guys. This right here screws on to this part right here. So what we're gonna be doing is pulling the LED off this bracket and then see that little hole right there where it's screwed onto with that screw right there. We're gonna be drilling that hole out a little bit and that is gonna slip right over this little nub right here, which is gonna hold it in place. And then we, when we screw these two pieces together, it's gonna kind of sandwich it in between and hold it right in place. And the reason why we are putting it here is because when these are when these two pieces are together, there's nowhere else for it to go. Usually I would bolt it on, have it shine down kind of a little bit like I did on the Evo 10 headlights. But these projectors are a bit different. And one more thing you guys may be wondering is, since this LED is going to be sticking up, you might be thinking, is that going to block off some of the beam coming from the headlight bulb? And it's not because it's going to be sitting below this section right here, which is the cutoff. It's going to be sitting below that. So it's not going to mess with the projection of the beam whatsoever. We're gonna be installing this with the LED facing toward the projector bowl. So right now it's gonna be facing toward the camera. See what I mean guys? This is below that center line right there. So that's not gonna mess with the beam whatsoever. Now we're gonna take this. Set that through, grab our two screws and screw it back together. Remember on this bottom one here, the ground wire for the bellus goes on here. So screw that on. Go ahead, snug it up. And as you can see, nice tight fit. Doesn't move around at all. Should be nice and solid there. That was much easier than I figured it would be, guys. So that's how you do it on Evo 8, Evo 9. I'm sure that Evo 7 headlights are the same. Like I said earlier, there's no hole in this. I mean, I'm sure we could have drilled a hole in there somewhere and pointed that beam down, but as you can see, it's gonna work fine because it's not sticking up whatsoever. I'm gonna clean up the glass, throw the glass on here, and then we can get the projector back in the headlight and figure out where exactly we want to run this wiring harness through the headlight. It's gotta go through somewhere. This is where we are currently sitting. We got the projector in with the LED demon eye. We got the high beam bowl in. Last thing to do before we throw this headlight fully together is we gotta figure out where we want to run this wire. And I think I know exactly where I'm gonna do it. I did it on the same place on the Evo 10 headlights I built. So I'm gonna flip this over and it's gonna be coming out this high beam bowl right here. There's a little rubber grommet that would be super easy to cut a hole in for that wire. We could definitely pull it out this low beam hole right here but that is a plastic cap and it'd be a lot harder to seal that up. So I'm just gonna cut a little hole in that rubber gum right there, run that wire through there. Sounds pretty easy to me. So I am going to fish it through the headlight, pull it out right here, throw it through the grommet and we should be able to get the headlight back together. All right, lens is back on. Don't judge this lens. This lens is super, super disgusting. I did not buff this one out quite yet. I'm going to do that after I get the headlight back on the car. Headlight is ready to go in the oven. So I have it already preheated at 200 degrees. So here is what we're gonna do with resealing this headlight. We have the oven at 200 degrees. We're gonna throw it in there for 10 minutes, pull it out, use a bunch of clamps, kind of clamp it all around where the two halves meet, let it cool off, and then throw it back in there for another 10 minutes and repeat that process. We're gonna be baking it twice, guys, two times for 10 minutes each. After each time, we're gonna pull it out of the oven and clamp it together using just like some vice grips and little spring clamps like what we have here. And that should completely, completely seal the headlight back together. If it does leak in the future, I can always pull that lens back off and then reseal it. So for the high beam bowl guys, where we are running that beam and I wire through, I'm just gonna grab a knife, cut a little slot in it, just so we can run that wire through here. As soon as that headlight comes out of the oven, we can throw all the wiring back on, the bellus back on. So here is the scoop of the wiring. It's quite simple. We have our Bluetooth controller right here. We have a wire here that connects together like so. That is going from the controller over to the harness. We have another wire on the controller that connects over to the harness like that. We have these two wires right here. One goes to one headlight, the other to the other headlight. And then we have a black wire that goes to the negative terminal on the battery and the red wire goes to the positive terminal on the battery. 
And that is honestly it guys, it's super, super easy to do. This headlight has been baked twice. It's all good to go, sealed up, ready to be fully assembled. Headlight is all completed, ready to be thrown back on to the car. The last step is just to connect the ground and the power wire to their battery and we can see how good these lights work. So just reading the instructions here, it says download the Heyo Deng app. We now have full control over the LED. Let's do blue because I'll probably run only blue on this car, honestly. I'm going to say something like that. That looks like it matches everything else. All the other blue on the car pretty freaking good. I'm going to turn on the low beams, high beams, blinkers, make sure all that good stuff works. The last thing we need to do is buff out this driver's side headlight right now. Here is a quick before, show you guys how absolutely disgusting it looks. Let's get that thing cleaned up. A quick little update on that battery I'm running for those of you that are wondering, it's actually defective right out of the box. So when I had these demonized connected to the battery and I would turn the demonized off on the app, they wouldn't actually turn off all the way. And I hook the demonized up to this battery right here and everything works as it should. So that's a quick little update for that $30 battery. But yeah, here's how the headlights look. Pretty freaking crazy. All right guys, that is gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Everything I used in this video is gonna be linked down below. All the paint I used, the demon eyes, will be linked down in the description box below. Huge shout out to Lit Lights for sponsoring the video and supplying me with these demon eyes and the LED bulbs. Be sure to go check them out on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.